This is That's Our Station, and I'm your host, Jay Charles. In Spain, an airline passenger is facing a possible fine after he climbed out of an emergency exit from a plane onto the wing while they were landed on the tarmac. The reason he did this was due to several delays throughout the flight. A fellow passenger filmed him when he climbed onto the wing of the plane. By the time police arrived at the scene of the incident, he was already back inside the aircraft. He told the officers he was stressed out by the long delays and needed to get some fresh air. Fellow passengers reported that he suffered from asthma and was having trouble breathing. Talk about being plain unlucky. However, fortunately for the man, reasonable individuals are dealing with how best to resolve this issue, which is why he could be facing a fine of up to $54,000. That's pretty discouraging if you realize you can book a nice private flight for about $5,000 an hour. Additionally in the news, speaking of fines, the Museum of Ice Cream was fined $1,000 for its very fine plastic sprinkles, and we have the scoop you are looking for on this story. The Museum of Ice Cream is a pop-up museum in the city of Miami Beach in the state of Florida, which is open from early December to February 26th. Guests at the museum take photos of themselves in a pool filled with 100 million small plastic dots. Environmentalists are saying these sprinkles can easily slip into storm drains and other bodies of water and harm marine life. So because of this, spokeswoman of the museum issued a statement saying the museum has taken, quote, immense precautions to be environmentally friendly, which include hiring cleaners to sweep around the building in case of sprinkles. In addition to the sweepers, the museum, which is only open for three months, remember that, Plans to install blowers at three different exits to make sure guests don't have sprinkles on them when they leave the building. And the museum said it was developing biodegradable sprinkles for their attraction. You know, because those don't exist already. It's not like people literally eat sprinkles with ice cream that they need to digest. So it's a good thing that the Museum of Ice Cream decided to develop sprinkles that are biodegradable. That is, of course, until someone with a brain thought about the situation. Now the museum has the sprinkle pool in the beginning of the attraction, so by the end of the museum, all the sprinkles would have fallen off the guests, and nobody gets to have any fun at all. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out our other videos. We hope to see you again very soon.